Are you sure about this? Not particularly, no. But the Marquis is on the National Convention with Le Pelletier. He might have some insight. Ah, uh, which is a more incisive commentary on corruption in the bishopric? Seven nuns seducing a parish priest into debauchery, or an enormously endowed Benedictine sodomizing a goat named Pius? No force in heaven or on earth will make me answer that question. Quite right, Arno. The goat it is. So, what can I do for you? And your charming companion. Louis-Michel Le Pelletier. What can you tell us about him? Ah, dear Louis. He went from abolishing the death penalty to calling for the king's head in two short years. Where can we find him? I'm afraid I don't often socialize with my fellow deputies. Something about my distaste for the beheading of the innocent. Speaking of innocence... De Sade. Mm-hmm. Le Pelletier. Well, I believe he often takes meals at a certain cafe near the Palais Royal. I believe you can find him there. If we don't, I'll be back. Really? Well, then I hope I'm mistaken. No, you don't. Wine delivery for the palace. Make it round back. Make sure you're cleaning those windows properly this time, or Mr. Le Pelletier will have my yes, head. Madame. Bonjour, Citizen Le Pelletier. Citizen Talia. I think I know what tainted wine tastes like. Come There's back 50 here. livres I'll worth of wine the here. What am I going to do with it? Well, you can sell it as a remedy for sore lips, for all I care. But I'm not buying a drop of it. Trying to poison my customers. Sorry, sir. Ought to call the gendarme. Well, I'll have it taken away as soon as the heart returns. Next, infected bread. This is criminal. This is. 
You're lucky to escape a murder charge. A level. Yes. Trying to poison my customers. This may come in handy. Pardon, mademoiselle. Monsieur Le Pelletier has complained of stuffiness in his office. Could you open the window? What are you on about? I Monsieur, understand. it's a drafty room. Bon soirée. Mind you, don't leave it open. Monsieur Le Pelletier hates a draft. Mr. Pelletier arrives. Hey! You want some fun? I'll have any cut you in the zone to play with! <laughs> Did he make a sharp turn? For the odd, he's right in front of me. Well done, David. Didn't even see you arrive. Here you are, sir. 74 Chateau D. Vintage, if I may say. Oh, 
just a bit of a stomach ache. Go. Go and find your nurse and tell her to take you home. I'll be along soon. Yes, Papa. Maximum. Santé. The king must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, can we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grand Master. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Belletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The king will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Are you sure Germain will be there? Yes, I'm sure. Then what are we waiting for? Bring forth the condemned! Hello, Arno. Monsieur Germain. It's fitting you are here to witness the rebirth of the Templar Order. After all, you were there for its conception. Monsieur de la Serre. Ah, I tried to make him see. But the Order had become corrupt, touching at power and privilege for their own sake. But you could set it right. Is that it? All by killing the man in charge? Oh, de la Serre's death was only the first stage. This is the culmination. Miss 
messieurs, je suis innocent de tout ce dont on m'inculpe. Je souhaite que mon sang puisse cimenter le bonheur des Français. Kings, merely a symbol. Symbol can inspire fear. And fear can inspire control. But men inevitably lose their fear of symbols, as you can see. This was the truth de Molay died for. The divine right of kings is nothing but the reflection of sunlight upon gold. And the Triumph Church are ground to dust. When you control the gold, we'll decide the future. Chapter 9. Is it Vanger? I must take my leave. Good day to you. Kill him. Go! Quite an entrance. What are you doing? Go after him! I'm not leaving you here to die. Elise, it's time to go. Go after him! Pressing concern at the moment. It is. He's gone. Damn it! Our one chance. It's not over. We'll find another lead. No, we won't. You think he'll be so careless now, knowing how close at heel we are? You were given a golden opportunity to end his life, and you refuse to take it. To save your life? It isn't yours to save. What are you saying? I'm willing to risk everything to put Jama down. If you don't have the stomach for revenge, then I don't need your help. Elise. Elise! What in God's name happened at the Place de la Révolution today? Germain was there, and I know what his plan is. You have to... You were told to leave that investigation to others. Yes, but listen! Yes, but listen! 
Is that the regard in which you hold the Brotherhood? I knew this would happen. I told Mirabeau that you were too obsessed with your personal vendettas. This is why I joined the Brotherhood. Yes, not because you shared our ideas or felt called to the service. For revenge. For redemption. Call it what you will. You've defied the orders of this council repeatedly, pursued targets without sanction, and flouted our creed at every step. Master Trenet. In light of these actions, I find I have no choice but to call for a vote of expulsion. Master Bellier. Agreed. What are you- Master Kimar. Agreed. Arno Dorian, you are attainted. Your rank and title are stripped from you, and you are hereby exiled from the Brotherhood of Paris. You cannot be serious. Listen, I know what Germain is doing. I can stop him! The decision of this council is final. We give you leave to go. 